My name is Gwen. Welcome to the Woolly Closet. I am coming to you from the Netherlands, uh, where I live with my daughter and my husband and my two budgies. It is the 19th of January on a Friday and it has been a while. Um, we've been mostly celebrating Christmas, New Year's, holiday stuff, and then going back to school, going back to work, getting sick again. Um, yes, it's been uh, not that many crafting hours for me. Um, but I do have some finished objects to show uh, and I'll tell you what I'm wearing first. This is the True Real Sweater by uh, Sophie Ochera. Let me check one out. I made this as a test knit in 2020. Um, I used Drops Flora and Drops Nord for this. And I used a 2.5 millimeter needle and a US 1.5 and a 3 millimeter needle US 2.5. Uh, I made the size extra large. Um, it has stripes on the bottom, as you can see. Um, I'm usually wearing this with dresses. Um, but I am inclined to wear more uh, trousers these days, so I'm thinking about lengthening this. And I still have enough yarn of these two colors left, so it's all just a matter of um, ribbing back the ribbing and just add some length to it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I really like this sweater. Um, Test knitting for Sophie is always such a joy. Uh, she uses uh, WhatsApp for her uh, tests so we can chat and sh show each other pictures in instant moments. So that's a lot of fun. Um, lovely people always have test numerous sweaters for her, also for my daughter. Um, I think she has a pattern out recently called Endelion, maybe. I haven't test knitted that one, but that also looks lovely. Um, mine is a little bit different. This piece here, in the pattern you get when you buy it now, it'll be uh, four by four stitch blocks and mine are one by one, two by two. Um, because there was an error in the chart and uh, I had already knitted this part and told her there was an error in the chart. and didn't want to rip it back because I was already on this part here. So I decided to keep it like this. It's fine. I think it looks nice anyway. So people really seem to like this color palette I chose. I don't know why. I just thought they would look good together. These were all stash yarns. I usually test from stash. Which reminds me, I did a test knit for Olga Putano. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. Um, uh, the distance scarf in fingering weight um, and I think it's going to be released today I mean uh, I was told it was going to be released today so I can show you I will book in some pictures here for you to see because um, I'm not much of a tiny scarf person my neck is already big enough in and on itself so I don't want to add any uh, attention to it anyway. So I already decided I was going to use this as a head scarf anyway. Um, I used Drops Flora, which is a nice wool alpaca blend. This is also in the sweater, by the way, from my sash still. Um, this is one of my favorite yarns. It's uh, soft, it's uh, drapey, uh, it's got a little bit of fluff, not scratchy at all. I adore this yarn. Also Drops Nord, which is, uh, this one is all natural fibers and Drops Nord has some nylon or polyester in it. So that gives it a bit more firm. That, that's also a sport weight. This is a fingering weight. Uh, back to the scarf, tension. Um, this is the distance scarf. Um, I had quite a lot of problems uh getting started with this scarf uh, as you can see it's all over cables which is no problem for me at all i know you've seen my sweaters 
um, I just couldn't get my head around it. And there's some hair there from my picture day. Um, maybe because I was already sick or not feeling well or very tired or I don't know. It's, uh, I really had to print out the chart a little bit bigger and color it in with different colors so I could make out what, uh, what I was doing before I got the hang of it. But it's lovely. It's shorter than the, um, the ones you'll see on uh, uh, the ones that other testers have made. But I don't mind. I use this as a headband, like I said. Uh, I used a 375mm needle, US 5. Um, and I love it. It's beautiful. Very simple. Uh, but not a mindless knit. No. You do have to pay attention. Which was the problem in the weeks after Christmas. Anyway. My other finished object is not as much an object. It is yarn. It's my first ever finished uh, spin, hand spun yarn. And one is a little bit crappy. And the other one is, well, clearly a little bit better. Not the best, I must say. I'm still learning. Um, I made this on the spinning wheel I borrowed from a friend. Uh, and you can see it's pretty much thick and thin, overspun, pigtails, everything you could do wrong that's in here. But I still really like it. This is John Arben Top Wimple Wonder. I can't remember. I thought it was Exmo. Blue Face Lester, something other blend. I'll, I'll pop everything down below. Um, and then um, I saw on the Dutch equivalent of eBay, uh, Marktplaats, a secondhand spinning wheel, an Ashford QE2. And my husband said, well, you do like it, right? And I said, yes, but I'm not sure because that wheel that I'm borrowing is a little bit gammy. And he said, well, just buy this one. And if you don't like it, you can always resell it. So we went and pick it up. And this is partly spun on the borrowed wheel and partly spun on the Ashford. And you can clearly see that this is much better. I have already washed this yarn and hung it out with some weights on it. And I think this one looks lovely. This, this could make a nice hat or something, I think. Maybe in the future. Yeah. I really love how those colors work. And now I am spinning some blue faced Lester I bought uh, at a discount from a local, well, local to me yarn dyer called Wol met Verve. And uh, as my daughter is now homesick, she has a flu. We got vaccinated, fortunately, so I hope we don't catch it. Um, she's upstairs now watching a movie and uh, you'll probably hear her coughing in the background every now and then. Uh, she was very handy and she uh, filmed a little video of me spinning a bit for the video podcast uh, for you to see. And it's it's just a lovely, uh, well, not braid, what do you call it? Fiber. So here it is. <laughs> There are a few works in project, uh, works in project, progress, works in progress, words. You can clearly tell I haven't done this in a while. Uh, works in pro progress, two, uh, well, three, but the third one is not much to show yet. Um, although I am working on that uh, a lot because it's mindless. It's a uh, uh, mitered square blanket in this picture. I'm not going to show that there's not much progress on that, just a square or three or four. Maybe next time. Um, the first is the Moraine sweater, which lives in my Unzeslik bag. I knitted 
a pattern by Hannah Rimmen on Ravelry. I have ripped out the neckline for this one and re-knitted it. I did a rolled neckline. It still needs to be blocked, but it's looking much better already. And my daughter can easily put it on her head, uh, over her head, and it looks really nice on her. I am halfway down with the sleeve. Uh, she wants a loose loose sleeve, so I'm not going to do any decreases on this. And I have also knitted the hem. And I didn't do one by one rip as in the pattern, but a two by two rip. Um, and the cuff for the sleeve will be the same as this right here. So it's, it's almost done. Just one and a half sleeve to go and then it'll be ready. I hope you can see clearly. I'm not sure where to hold. <laughs> I am using Zwarte Varet Ulrika, which I bought myself. This is not sponsored yarn. None of my yarns are sponsored today. <laughs> I all bought it myself. Um, so yeah, this needs to be done, but I just can't be motivated to work on it at the moment. I, I'm just tired and I'm having to pick this up and put it down again because my daughter says, Mommy, 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 which is fine. It's my job. But that makes it for, um, I, I need to be alone, I think, for knitting this. Which is uh, also the same for my next work in progress, which I really like. Um, also, if you want to know more about that sweater, I've talked about it in the previous episode also, and maybe even the one before that at length, so you can find more there. But I will also put everything down below in the description box. Uh, this is living in a lovely Christmas bag, which was part of my yarn advent, my after Christmas yarn advent, which was a lot of fun. I'll, I'll talk more about that later. Um, and the bag is made by Head Wool Based, also a Dutch yarn dyer. That's some fun Christmassy uh, fabric. And I really like it. It's very cute. Quite like it. In here lives my Jeanette Knits. I think it's pronounced Jeanette. I only figured it out after watching some live footage on Instagram. Uh, I always said Zanette, but no, it's Jeanette. Um, this is the Do You Yoke uh, sweater, uh, which is a mystery knit along. Uh, I've gotten as far as clue th two. Uh, I haven't knitted clue three yet, which was out uh, at the beginning of this week. So I don't think uh, this is any spoiler, but if you don't want to see, look away now. Anyway. Oop. I am using Drops Nord in black and just this little nugget left of Spin Cycle Salty Dog and now I am having to incorporate this one and I can't remember the name oh yeah Deep Bump this is called Deep Bump which has the same beginnings as the salty dog but i'm thinking i need to incorporate this in the sleeves as well because the color work continues down the sleeves and i of course want the sleeves to look the same or at least similar to the rest of the body and only the beginning of this skein is goldish and then it goes into greens so i'm still debating on how to do that if you have any ideas please let me know Put them down below and maybe you'll be able to help me. Um, I haven't done the neckline yet because I'm thinking about doing a roll neckline or maybe a two by two or I just don't know yet. I think it's the least important thing right now for this tangling mess. Okay, so of course I'm mid-row, but there you have it. This is what it looks like right now. And I think it's beautiful. 
And like I said in my previous episode, this yarn is pretty expensive. But I do understand what the fuss is all about. I think it looks lovely. It just goes into greens and browns and then back to gold. I think it's stunning. So the color work continues down the arms and down the body. And then I don't know what happens next. Um, I have quite a lot of drops Nord left. So I'm going to just knit until it's almost gone because I want a longer sweater because I wear mostly jeans nowadays or well not jeans jeans leggings what do you want anyway so I'm having a lot of fun with this but also this takes um, brain power which is in short su supply these days uh, I have this cute high high them stitch holders. I quite like this. They're panda bears. I use mainly high high needles. It's something I bought years ago when I first got into knitting. I had some drops. I don't even remember. Symphony? No, is that Nipro? I had some drops wooden needles to start with because they were the cheapest. And then I bought these higher higher metal needles because I have an allergy to um, nickel. And these are stainless steel. And they were a little bit cheaper than Chao Gu. Um, I do have one Chao Gu uh, needle, but I'm always fighting with the cable. I know many people love that cable, but to me it's just too thick, too sturdy. This is really floppy and loose. I know it curls up on itself sometimes, but I'm okay with that. And I really like that you can wiggle it about. And, and it swivels too, just like the chow goo. So I really love these. Um, these ones are Knit Pro um, Mindful. Mindfulness. Um, yes. So this is gifted to me, by the way, by Knit Pro. I really love these too, so I mix and use them all up. Uh, whenever I guess on, I choose which needle set I prefer for that project. And for this one, I need long, long cables. Uh, and I don't have a lot of long cables for the mindfulness set, so I use my high highs instead. Um, and that's about it, really. Oh, wait, I can show you why, uh, my spinning uh, fiber uh, that I am planning. Yeah, I, I had shown you the footage, so I'll be right back. Excuse the creaking. So, this was the yarn you saw me spinning up. It's not in a braid, it's just... This is BFL, Blue Face Lester. And this is the other half. I have spun up half of this, uh, 100 grams. So this is 50 left to do. I'm going to try and put it on the same bobbin as four. And I also have two bags of this. This is Cory Dale. Oh, it feels different. And I think I'm going to ply it with this when it's done. I think it will be lovely because this color is also just a bit in here and I think they would really look good together, plied, plied together. So, there's that. Okay, so, it was in my notes here and I forgot to tell you, so I thought I'd quickly grab it. Um, I have, well, one acquisition, which was my after Christmas advent. It went from the 26th of December to the 6th of January, which was Three Kings. It's a Catholic holiday. I don't know if you celebrate it. We, we used to here in the Netherlands. I was raised Catholic, 
for the life of me, I can't remember. I did look it up, but I forgot again. <laughs> anyway. I had two skeins of the big skeins, which was very Christmassy. It's all uh, based on The Muppet Christmas Carol, which is a movie we watch every year for Christmas. I remember it clearly as a child, watching it with my grandfather and my parents and brother. Um, so it has special meaning to me. And I shall hold up the mini skeins. In. I have no idea what the um, sequence is for these skeins. Uh, there were no numbers on there. I did realize later on there were stickers with the... Um, it's based on a song, 12 Days of Christmas. And I didn't realize but until later there were um, uh, stickers on them with uh, hints to which would go where. But I just hang them up and didn't really care about the... But there are beautiful greens in here and reds. And purples and grays. I think it's really pretty, not your standard, here's a rainbow fade. I quite like the moodiness of this. And this pink one also has a little bit of a speckle in it, which I like. I really love it. I don't know if you can see, but this is the most beautiful brown I've ever seen. I'm not much of a brown person. But this one, really. And I also really liked uh, this one. For you speckle lovers out there. Don't ask me what I'm going to make with these. I have no idea. <laughs> I just really loved um, having Advents. And I was feeling sorry for myself. I didn't buy an Advent. But 24, 25 skeins would just be too much. I don't know what to do with them just yet. Um, so I bought this 12 skein as a bit of a... Well, make it up to myself, bye. Um, next year I think I will buy a fiber advent for the spinning wheel because I, I think I, I would like that. Okay, so 2024. Do you have any knitting plans? I made two Make 9 boards. I usually participate in the Make 9 2024 Make Along with uh, Noble Character Crafts Amy. Uh, I've done so for a few years. I almost never finish more than one or two projects for my Make 9 boards because I am really quick to change my mind on what I am going to make. Uh, here is board number one. Um, I really want to finish my daughter's sweater. I want to work on my fleece long blanket. Um, I really want to work on my mitered square blanket. I want to crochet the mini sweater by Zins and Roger for my daughter. Um, I really want to make the Ursa sweater. I already have a rule for that one. And in March, I think, there is going to be a celebratory day on my daughter's primary school uh, where all the teachers will celebrate their birthday uh, in one day. And I need to knit another cozy bottle again um, for the teacher of my daughter because I really like that pattern and I think it's a great gift. For a teacher so and my all-time dream knit is on the second board or was it on the first board i don't know well here's the other board i made and my absolute dream knit is uh, augustine's number 16 by anne sophie velling i have no idea if i would wear this but it's such an interesting piece to me i really want to try it um, I think it looks beautiful, very romantic. 
I do, however, need to raise the neck on the back because the, the, the back is the same as the front, which is pretty low cut. And um, it's also made with mohair, so I don't understand why the back would be so low. I don't think I would get much use out of it if the back would be so low, so I need to tinker. And, but that project is, is, is a dream. It, I, I don't know if I get to it this year, maybe next year. But I really want to try and knit that one. Yeah. So, do you have any plans? Let me know. Tell me down below. Uh, I read all your comments. I love them. Please like and subscribe. I don't know yet when I will be back because it's really busy here and uh, also a lot of germs and viruses and bacteria. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I hope I am able to make another one in a week or three and maybe I will get to show you a finished sweater or an almost finished sweater and maybe a new cast on or so. We shall see. Okay, see you next time. Bye!